Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Um, this is this channel is the Crimson Knight Gaming, and I am he, the Crimson Knight. And welcome to the first day of Spookmas. Hello, Yvonne. I don't know why I've just I. It was a momentary decision, but I have gone all in on this type of a voice right now. Apparently, hello. <laughs> Okay, no. Hi, everybody, and welcome back. This is Spook Miss Time. Tech, yes, I know. But it's September still. It ain't October till tomorrow. Bite me. Number one. Bite me. Right here. Just bleed me dry. Um, Number one. Number two. It's the first week of October. It just happens to have one day of September in it. So, bite me. Uh, so yeah, today we are going to be playing Maid of Skr. I assume that's how that's pronounced. It could be Skr. Um, it's some kind of a European-esque thing. Like, it could be Maid of Skr. Um, I have no idea. I hope they say it in the game so that I know. Uh, because either way, I have all kinds of jokes I can make in my head. Made of skur. Oh, I'm so scared. You know, I'm made of skur. You know, ha 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 ha. But <laughs> we're going to be doing that today. And I'm excited because I've never played this before. It's relatively new, I think. Um, I also believe it's an indie game, which has me really excited. <laughs> Ew, Yvonne says. Uh, vampire cosplay? Uh, I could see where you were going with where you're going with that. Uh, with the voice I was doing, um, feels a bit more narrator of the damned, I guess. Which may not actually be a thing, but I don't know how else to describe the thing in my head. Um, but anyway, um. <laughs> Anyway, before we get properly started, I just want to quickly point out the fact that we have a content warning up here in this corner. You always feel felt like those types of narrators were vampires? The thing about the vampire voice is that they almost always had some kind of like a vague, like, Romanian, Scandiv uh, Scandinavian, not Scandinavian, Russian, like that kind of air area in Europe uh, accent. Um, like Drac from uh, Hotel Transylvania. Like they have some kind of Transylvanian accent, uh, usually, uh, which is not what I was doing. I, I would. Yeah, that's true. That's fair. I don't know. I feel like they weren't always. I feel like sometimes they were vampires. And I, actually, actually, I think what happened is there was one time it was a vampire, and that just soured every all the other times that it wasn't a vampire, you know. Uh, but anyway, yes. So before we get properly started, Link Tree, check it out. Link Tree slash Crimson Knight, exactly as is written above my head. Um, I don't know what the hell just happened, <laughs> but, uh, Linktree slash Crimson Knight. Check it out. It's where you can find me and follow me in places. Um, socials, Discord, Kofi, Patreon, YouTube, Twitch, all the things, all available in that Linktree. Linktree slash Crimson Knight. Uh, check it out. Or not. I won't hold it against you either way. Um, but yeah. There's that. Also, I want to call everybody's attention to the content warning up here. What is going... Is that... Hey, Yvonne, tell me. Is this legible? It doesn't look legible on my tiny preview screen, but the, is it legible? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, because I, I think what's happening in my tiny uh, preview screen is that the white back... The little white outline that I gave them all, uh, g uh, gave the words to help it stand out a little bit better, is kind of blending together a bit on my little preview. Anyway, it's legible. Uh, it's legible. That's good. That's good. That's the intention. It's legible. Um, it's legible. 
Why am I still saying legible? St stop saying legible. Um. Anyway, content warning. I uh, I couldn't find much. I I was trying to be very careful not to spoil myself about this game because I've heard it's really really good, and that its story is really really good. So I was trying not to spoil myself about the game. The one thing I was that I did. Um. Actually, hold on. That's the wrong one. There we go. That's the correct one. I had the wrong uh, content warning up. Uh, content warning, violence, gore, abuse. Uh, those are the only three things I was able to determine uh, were potential content warning issues. I don't know. So I don't know. So just be careful as we tread into this game. Um, it might go harder than this. It might not go that hard. It might not need a content warning. But, uh, yeah, be aware of these and be sure to take care of yourself because not everybody is up to being able to handling, uh, things. And that's okay. I love you and I won't hold anything against you no matter what. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to stick with that phrasing. Um, so yeah. Let's get it spoopy in here. Uh, settings, audio, volume looks fine, graphics, mm, yeah, those look fine, gameplay, English, difficulty, normal, show, crosshair, sure, subtitles, on, yes, please, uh, keyboard, mouse options, which one to fire gun, do we have gun, we don't have gun, we have devices, I should, oh, there's a fire, maybe we get gun, Maybe we get gun. And there's aim. So maybe we do get gun. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I will say I love the aesthetic of just this train hallway being the intro screen. Uh, you know what it reminds me of, Yvonne? This in this open this main menu opening screen reminds me so much of the room. That's what it reminds me of, and I'm here for it. But anyway. Uh, just taking a quick look at things to make sure I can see them so I don't have to adjust any things, uh, many things while I'm going. I can see chat, I can see my preview, I can see my audios, uh, I can see my sources, that's important. I have my Discord over there, uh, and I have the beautiful Blue Game Plus open in the background playing a game with Mr. Generic Name. You should check them out. They're great. It's over on the Yvonne B Twitch channel. You should, if, if you're t if you can't handle spooky games or those con or that content warning in the corner, you should absolutely check out uh Yvonne B um and uh her partner is currently live. Yes, the content warnings did change, and that's because I ha the original content warnings I had up were the wrong content warnings. Those are the content warnings for Phasmophobia. Um, so yeah, I I, qu I corrected that when I realized I had the wrong the wrong ones up. Um, but yes, you should check out Yvonne B. She's great, and if you would if you don't want to do the spooky stuff, you should absolutely go to her channel. Uh. You should absolutely go to her channel and uh, hang. All right. Anyway, enough enough dallying. Let's go into the dilly, shall we? Um, safe. For those who want to focus on atmosphere and story, you are locked to this mode once you start. Enemies and damage are removed from the game. Some items are unobtainable. Some rewards are unlocked or are locked. Easy. For players who are new to the horror genre and want a more relaxed playing experience. Player has more health. Enemies are weaker and less aggressive. Ammo and health items are more plentiful. Normal. For those who want a challenging yet balanced horror experience. I think we're going to go with normal. Uh... Yeah, let's go with normal. Because, like, I'm here for the story, but also I want gameplay. I don't want this to just be a walking simulator. 
Dearest Thomas, these are not words I wish to write. My father has learned of our plans, my love. Yet there is more, far worse, that I wish you to understand, but I fear you may believe me taken with madness. My father seeks to use me. As I have come to believe, he used my poor mother. He wishes me to sing for him as she did. To become the star attraction that will draw good folk to this accursed spit of land. My refusal to do so has led to my confinement here at Scare Hotel. I cannot explain further, but ask that you trust me. Okay, so two things right off the bat. Yvonne, I know you're lurking, so I don't know if you can actually hear currently, but... Um... <laughs> Oh my god. So, three things. You're lurking currently, so I don't... Uh, uh, this is just the room! This is just the room! This is just the room! Also, her dad is a butt. Absolutely. But yes, this is just the room! This is specifically the most recent The Room game. You literally start out in a train car on your way to the destination. <laughs> oh god. Uh, second. Second thing. Um... The AI bot, may your lurking be as stealthy as a vampire in the night. I love this bot so much. Um... <laughs> uh, third thing is it this less to Yvonne specifically, more to everybody. It is pronounced scare, made of scare. I beseech you to compose a melody for me, a counter to the song contained within this locket of my mother's. I realize this request will seem strange, that your first thought will be to come straight here, but without your composition, all hope of holding back the darkness gathering here will be lost. Your love, always, Elizabeth. The love interest is, in games like this is always named Elizabeth. Always, it feels like. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce that, but apparently it's translated it translated to none but a pure heart can sing. Maybe that's why you've been having troubles lately, Yvonne. Okay, goddamn, though, with the timing. <laughs> Maybe that's why you've been having troubles lately, Yvonne. And followed by big dramatic sting. <laughs> Damn! That's a, that was a tip for me that I completely missed. All right. It said something about photography. Mouse? Movement, please. Okay, well, I guess not. Uh, e. Music sheet, Thomas Evans. A Welsh lullaby. Hmm. It feels like it needs to be inverted. Welsh lullaby. God, I wish I could read music. I mean, I can. It's just been a while, and it takes effort for me. And effort. I don't like to give effort. Just leaving a bunch of coins on the table, I guess. Apparently. Just a bunch of coins, a book. Leaving your own personal shit here. Can't even can't even pick up my own shit. Okay. Uh hold on, let's see here. Let's go to settings because I think I do need to invert the mouse. Look. We'll well hold on. No. Oh god, it's just gonna be the rotational thing. Oh, that's gonna bother me. Uh How's the sensitivity feeling? Uh, it's, it's a little sluggish. Let me up the sensitivity a titty bit. Uh, there we go. That's better. All right. Scare Island. Okay, so crouch is a thing. How do how do uncrouch? There we go. Because I was hammering the the. The same button, but it wasn't enough, apparently. Seriously though, can I can I take my stuff or is there like a butler that's gonna come do it for me or something? 
whatever. Rich people. Or is the train just gonna wait for me? Is that the whole whole thing? Music lock music lock. Yeah, that's that's gonna bother me. Oh, it's got a I can see what's happening. They don't have a clue. Soon enough, they'll fall in love. And then our trio's down to two. Sorry. Um, I do like the design of that music locket, though. Like, hell yeah. All right. Can I go in here? No? Okay. Go out in here. Yeah, I'm the only person going to Scare Island. Not surprised. If y'all just left right now, I would be so mad. <laughs> because my because I just literally left my shit on there. Oh, I can sprint. Sprinting is good. Okay. Well, I guess it's running versus walking. Okay, look at this. Grand reopening, scare hotel. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, special performance by Elizabeth Williams, the new maid of Scare, uh, daughter of famed singing sensation Prudence Williams. Uh, enjoy the restorative peace and spa waters of Scare Point. 30th of October, 1897. There. The Irish Sea. Oh, look. Look at us right there. Scare Hotel. Um, oh, there's Scare Point. Oh, shit, that's a hike. That's a fucking hike, man. Oh, shit, Scare Station. We're... Damn! So we're down here, and then we're gonna have to hike our ass up to Scare Hotel. Let's see here, what else we got? Scare Station, the St. Benedict Woods on Scare Island... Winter Coast. Is that related to the Sword Coast? Pelican Cove. Stone Coast. I swear to God, do they have a, if they don't have a Sword Coast. What is that one? Nith, Nith, Nith Bran River. I apologize to anybody Irish who may be watching us. Uh, Scare Point. Actually, just in general, I apologize to anybody from Europe for any pronunciations or voices I do. Um, okay, fair. Someone just left all their shit just hanging around. I can see what's happening. I don't have a clue. I'll fall in love, and here's the bottom line. Our trio's down to two. Like, I feel like I should be able to open this. Don't you? Like... Alright. What car was I on? Or were you going this way? Is that the engine? No, that's not the engine. So I was down, I was in the fucking caboose. I mean, fair, but damn. All right. Okay, well, I guess somebody will be delivering my shit to me. So I better get walking. Apparently I'm too good to carry my own bags. Oh, I bet it's my own shuffling feet as I turn around. Cause I kept hearing footsteps. I'm like, what the fuck? Shift to run. Do I need to run? <laughs> or is it just faster? Scare Hotel and Scare Point this way. I'll just, I'll, I'll put a wiggle on. Why is my heart beating? Oh, 
Oh, is it just because I was rushing? Sprinting? Grand reopening, scare hotel. Same, same thing. Okay. I think we're going to swap some key combine, key buttons. Hold on. Oh, let me turn off tog toggle crouch real quick. Uh, also, let's put that on that. Oh, womp. Okay, no, I kept it. I kept it. All right. There we go. Beware of dog. Elizabeth. Beautiful voice. I bet the running thing, the the breathing and running and and heart pumping is going to be a thing that I'm going to need to be aware of for uh, escaping enemies and hiding and stealthing. Why am I going into the Benedictine woods instead of just knocking on a gate like a sane person? What did I say? Oh, it's a private property. Beautiful place. Oh my god. Hello. Hello, Lan. Interesting. Teddy bear. And it was in no small part due to my newfound fame and fortune that we were able to open Scare Hotel and embark on the charitable work which... Mother? Mother? Darling, can't you see I'm recording? What have I told you? Never to interrupt when the door is closed. I'm sorry, Mother. Well, no harm done. I shall record this again later. But while you're here, my darling, why not sing for me? Of course, mother. Why did those doors close on their own? Probably because the game said you've left the door open too long. Are you gonna play again? No? Fine. I wonder, will it let me go back? Will there be anything new here? Also, I'm curious how long it'll let me sprint.
I can definitely hear her from right here, which tells me she's down here somewhere waiting for me. And I don't know why I don't just call out to her, but whatever. Okay, so it doesn't seem to have a limit on sprinting. It's just being authentic with the heart beating and the breathing heavy. Hold on. Can I interact with this? No. I can interact with that. I wonder if there's a puzzle I could, would have to solve with that. I don't know. I don't know enough about anything. Uh... I don't know. And it, oh, mm, mm. Okay. Alright, we're going on. Binocular. Third watching. Fair. So they said they were going to reopen this place. It's grand reopening, and yet this place looks like it's been torn to shreds and not repaired one bit. I wonder if it's because, like, they only repaired the main house, where the hotel itself actually is. I bet this is where I would have walked along for the, after opening the gate. Yeah, they didn't even repair the entrance bridge. That's... Mmm... Thus. This place is a very dilapidated for a hotel that's supposed to be grand reopening. Why do I feel like this is one of those everybody like this is a century later type story things, but they're trying to make it seem like it's happening until suddenly it's not things. What is that? Is that a fountain or like Well, dog, dog's still alive. Beware of dog, still dog. Okay, so I came from there. Out there is where something glowy was. Yeah, you sh you, they should have dredged the lake. There's a lot of shit that they should have done before reopening this place. Unless. There's the gate. Huh. Is this the gate or no, this is not the same gate. Cause that's not what was on the other side. I didn't think so. Yeah, that's, I feel like the bridge I went under is what would have come across here or to here from the other gate. Liz, darling, I'm here for you. The Scare Hotel. Old carriage. in the window that door is probably where it wants me to go 
I want to explore first, though. Carriage. No horses. H. H. What was her last name? No map available. Notes. Elizabeth. What was, their la what was her last name? I don't remember. Blocked? Blocked. Okay. Bear with me while I take a quick screenshot, because holy shit, that's a beautiful sight. Graphs to save your game. Okay. That explains why I was able to reuse that one. Loading. Still loading. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this place is. Mmm, I don't think Elizabeth's gonna be alive. Even less now than before. Uh, I think that even less now. Before I started saying it. This is definitely gonna be a what happened here. A century ago. Or whatever. Kind of. Story, I feel. Now we have map. Okay, entrance hall. We've got a phone over here, something over here, and something over here. Okay. Well, this is all fine and good. Map, hi. It's Thomas. Thomas. It's you, Elizabeth. My Thomas. You do not know how wonderful it is to hear your voice. What happens here? I do not have the words or heart to voice it. It is far too terrible to recount. Please be careful, my love. This place is no longer safe. Your letter said... I prayed that you received it, hoped that you would come. I know my request must have seemed strange, and I fear it was all for naught, that everything has changed now. Where are you? I'm safe upstairs, but I cannot leave the attic. I've had to lock and bar the door, hide away from the others. Excuse me. 
Who? Who are you hiding from, Elizabeth? My father and uncle. The staff. They have been beguiled by the darkness that inhabits this place. They are no longer themselves, but stalk these halls, attacking anyone that makes a sound. Fine. Please, Thomas. Listen carefully. Together we can put a stop to all of this. My father made recordings on brass cylinders of a song, a strange melody that affects the mind. If all of the cylinders are played together on the harmonium, this madness will end. You need to find them and bring them to me. Okay. You must find all of the brass cylinders. Okay. We have to it? complete the song. We must finish the song together. Okay. Fine. Fair enough. All right. So there's dangerous people roaming hallways. I'll just think. Uh, <laughs> I saw that thing right there drifting in the wind and was like, um. <laughs> All right. Well, it's a hotel. I guess we should check ourselves in. Let's close the door. We weren't raised in a barn. Oh, the map is telling us where vents are. Interesting. What's this? Isaac's grand reopening notes. Grand reopening dress rehearsal, 22nd of October, 1897. Preparation of the Grand Harmonium. I have additional staff. Check. Sound checks. Stage preparation. Check. Print bills and flyers for main event on the 30th. Check. Decorations, bunting, and banners. Check. Additional chairs. Check. Order more bottles of wine. Check. Shipment of caviar. Check. But sound checks is unchecked. Makes sense. If it was a song that afflicted the mind. Oh, God, that's that feels like it's inviting danger. Uh, I want to do that. I'm going to do that. But first, I want to check a couple of things first. OK, so I can. And so, OK. All right. Now, let me go unlock the other vent in case I need a place to hide. Oh, I can't unlock this one. Oh, it, I, it's a. As a when you re you will return here from another direction thing. Got it. I understand. More coins just left around. The Morning Herald astonishing performance by world-renowned singer Prudence Williams in the Capitol. In loving memory of Prudence Williams, 1852 to 1894, the Maid of Scare. May your song live on forever. This is I this this game already has the vibe that like I'm going to turn to the right or left and somebody's going to jump scare me. You know? All right, let's boing. whole map bully okay well not a whole map but like the east wing maybe assuming this is north north south east west maybe that's usually how maps are supposed to be okay all right fair valid good good order up i need to stop doing that 
I'm so white sometimes. I'm in this old creepy place where bad people want to supposedly kill me. <laughs> let's let's just ring the bell several times. Uh, do I want to go? Through? Okay, no, I don't want to go through that door because I feel like that's the critical path. Oh, oh, hello. I feel like that's the critical path. Um, so this is reception. Public toilets, toilet, uh, manager's office, basement elevator, chapel, office, grand hall, waiting area, kitchen, theater, lovely theater, dining room, music room, office, projection room, storage room, bar, bar storage. Ah, and it's from bar storage that I'll be crawling into waiting area. Makes sense. What happens if I buzz the theater? Please be careful, Thomas. No. Jeez, with all the creaking and everything. All right, so the theater. Does it start ringing again? Or is something else ringing? Huh. <sighs> well, well, well. Alright, so before we go along the critical path, I'm gonna walk into the foyer. Ooh, the Welsh dragon, Queen Victoria, Gare Hotel, British Bulldog. Okay, and if I'm right, this opens... Okay, into the hallway. Good, good, good. Good to know. East wing. Hey, I was right. Okay, this is locked. Evil red glow with an organ. Fair. All right. Now, do you open West Wing? Aaron Sorkin? Locked. Okay. Sorry, I can't help myself. Oh, God. It really is the room. <laughs> I say it like that because there was a whole ass puzzle involving one of these. I wonder if this game was made by the same people. Probably not. This is the bar. Hello, service. I could use some tequila or something. Whatever would be t era and location appropriate. Good old ale or something. All right, and we're just back here. Okay. Eating area. Hold on. Was the waiting area one of these ones that I could bang? The fact that that was immediately timed after that, 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 that's great. Good. All good and great things. Alarm. Okay. All right. Enough dallying. Just 
push that door in. See if it stays open. All right. Oops, wrong button. I want this. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I am definitely going to be chased down this hallway and then have to, like, kite people through around and stuff. Exception. Toilet. You know what? We just got here after a long-ass trip. Let's, let's go to the toilet. 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 Look, lovely toilets. Always good to know where to take a shit. Shut the door so nobody can sneak in behind us. Ah, uh, yes. Classic foggy mirrors that don't reflect anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, up to definitely up to plumbing code. And this is definitely gonna be a place that I'm gonna have to hide in at some point. Mm hmm mm hmm Why does that have a Cthulhu head on it? Locked door. Uh Okay. That door is locked with a Cthulhu head. Jeez, the ambience is strong in this game, let me tell you. Going through the chapel and we're gonna get murdered. Because this is the chapel. This is probably where one of those little things is. What's in here? Nice, soothing green glow from a lamp. Probably a safe location. At least for now. Big ol' hook. Ah! It is a safe location because it's a save location. Father's a dick. Got it. Understood. But yes, good to know that this is a save location. All right. Oh, and it's marked. Thank God. Okay. We are going to leave it open, though. sake let me out who oh, is someone there uh, who's there who are you Thomas Evans uh, Henry Henry Hughes H -H. You must get me out hurry we must get this door open why did they lock you in there why do you think they're clearly rogues they're trying to kidnap me Please hurry. Do something. Try to find a key. What? No! No, don't leave me! They might return any minute. Oh, do something! I can't break it down from my side. Plus, I'm trying to go find a key. Stand back. Good. Good. Try again. Harder, man! 
Throw yourself into it. Wait. Hey. They're coming. Oh, God, please, no. No, don't do this. Whatever you want, I... Mr. X from Resident Evil. Got it. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. It does genuinely sound like he's trying to come around. Okay, because that was this room. That one's locked. That one's locked. He would have to come all the way around here. And my guess is I'm going to come down the hall. <laughs> Knowing games like this, I'm going to come down this hall, past this door, come to this place, and there's going to be a scare. As Mr. Stompy Stompy, who just supposedly, apparently killed, um... HH, whatever his name was, uh... comes out that door and ends up chasing me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. God, this game is really very good. Quickly making sure. Oh god, I'm already at that door. Uh, do I check it or go to the chapel? God help me, I'm white. Okay. Oh, okay, further down. Music doll. Okay. That's not creepy. Okay, collectible or usable? Collectible. Okay. All right, and what is, what am? What am? Ooh, okay. That's gonna. I I know that that's gonna be important later. Okay. Looking forward to that. Yep, yeah, that's fine. This is fine. Is that door. That is absolutely a door, but it's gonna be like a secret, not on the map door. Got it. All right, and we're coming up on thumpy thumpy door. I don't want to push that button yet. Do da. Oh, look, fresh blood. Okay, so the room where what's his face was murdered is locked off from all three angles, from all three doors. Okay, which means he was probably murdered, then dragged this way and dragged down the thing. That that sounds seems to be what environmental storytelling is telling us. Okay. All right, now that we've explored that, I'm gonna dip quickly back into the save room. Purely because of the fact that I need to run to the bathroom. So we're gonna, we're gonna take a brief break. I'll be back in a bit. Uh, don't go anywhere.
All righty, we're back. Thank you for bearing with me, and let's resume. Did I save? I think I did, because it's not giving me the prompt. Okay. So I had a thought while I was AFK. Hold on one second. And I need to check something. That was the manager's office where that guy was. I could have buzzed him. Okay, let's buzz the chapel. Interesting that this says Great Hall, whereas that says Grand Hall. Okay. I wanted to check each of those before we move on, moved on. And, oh, right. Okay, it's a bathroom. We did go that way. Yeah. I wonder if he would, if HH would have uh, replied had I buzzed the that room. Oh well. All right, we'll come back for that. Cause we're going to the chapel and we're opening the door. This is fine. I debated. Oh, it's gone. I debated about being like, this is, we'll leave you to that, <laughs> you know, but nah, nah, okay. A skull, I'm sure that's fine. Lots of lights. What? Chief Butler. Ring all ground floor bells. Hey! Oh, what's this? William's Family Bible. Canst thou draw out Leviathan with a hook? or his tongue with a cord which thou lettest down. Canst thou put a, an hook into his nose, or bore his jaw through with a thorn? Will he make many supplications unto thee? Will he speak soft words unto thee? Will he make a covenant with thee? Wilt thou take him for a servant forever? Wilt thou play with him as with a bird or wilt thou bind him for thy mistress why is bird and sirens underlined uh shall she make a book a banquet of him shall she partake of him among others canst thou fill his skin with hot iron from job 41 i don't it doesn't feel right but Whatever. Therefore, I will wail and howl. I will go stripped naked, stripped and naked. I will make a wailing like the dragons and mourning as the sirens. Micah 1 8. J. A. Williams, 1874. Hmm. Well, let's find out what happens if I do this. Oh, that's fine. Key. A key into the mouth of the skull. This is fine and fair. Oh, shit. They 
strapped somebody to this chair and then played the music directly into their ears. This is fine. The Cerberus. Cerberus. Perfect. Music is beautiful, but, um... Yeah, let's, uh... Oh! I think that's indicating that I have a ring-a-ding message. I'm so ready for somebody to, like, burst through a wall or something. Because we're passing by. I am not going through the Grand Hall. I want to be able to get a glimpse before anything else. All right. Elizabeth. Oh. Oh, no. That I've already interacted with that. Okay. Curb Carabarus. So much blood. This is fine. Oh, I didn't actually go up the stairs. I'm not sure I want to interact with that yet. Anything? No? Okay. Alright, this is where I'm going to have to put the cylinders. All right, there's nothing else up here, so onwards we go. And there was nothing back here, right? There's a music doll I want to pick up. But I cannot do that yet. All right, I guess we have no choice but to go to the basement. Go into the murder basement and gonna get murdered. Probably. All right. Okay. Button. That was lovely to hear. That was lovely on the ears. Okay. Do that. Now, for the spooky times. And in here? Okay. So far, so good. Now what? Oh, buttons. Great! Go into the basement and we're... Gonna get murdered. <laughs> okay, we are in the basement and we have no map here. Okay, great. All right. Um. Okay. It's fine. Wait a second. I had a thought. I just realized. Let's. Okay, so we have a. Tr We're looking for a triangle thing that I can plug this into. Not a Cerberus, not a Cerberus thing, a, uh, not a Cthulhu thing. Um, you're a Cerberus, or doggy, you're a good doggy. Um, you're, yeah, uh-huh. I bet, I bet there's a Cerberus door in the house that this phonograph opens like a key. Not phonograph, this uh, cylinder opens like a key. Oh, 
Hey, I assume that all green doors are save rooms. And that that will never bite me in the butt. What horrible thing is next? Yeah, that was, um, fine. That was all fine and good, as far as I can tell. Yep, fine and good. Okay. Okay, so that's where we came from. Okay. Ah, yes. Map? Please? Wouldn't it be nice? Mr. X. Did I get hurt? Yes, a lot. What can I do about that? I don't have any healing items. ringing I wonder hold on the safe room heal The safe room make bloody eyes go away. No. Okay. That is an enclosed door or enclosed room. That's the word. Blodwin's nervous tonic. Cures nervousness, irritability of temper, want of strength and energy, fear, dread, neuralgia, hysteria, disturbed sleep, melancholy, and song. It's cocaine. That's what this is. It's cocaine. <sighs> I understand. It's a cocaine tincture. Hold on. Uh, 
look that shape looks like a triangle is it the right kind of triangle though no Oh, so this way is just straight up blocked. Valid. Okay. Wait. That's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do, and then open it that way. There we go. Alright, so we'll just leave that door open then. I am hearing a ringing. Isaac's ledger and ledger deaths and disappearances. Test subject. Interesting. So apparently a bunch of people were going missing and I suspect Isaac is at fault for that. Oh, thank God. Okay. Alrighty. So, harp door comes out through here. Okay. Well, locked. Okay. Oh, this is where the murder happened. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Any? Did you guys leave anything behind? No? No? Okay. Now, X did walk through that door. I'm going to keep calling him that until I actually get a name for him. Mr. X. Sounds like that's where the ringing, ringy, dingy, ding is coming from. Yeah, this is definitely a being chased down a hallway. Uh, being chased down a highway, a ha highway, hallway, and having to kite people around corners and shit kind of vibe. Um... Yeah, I bet the ringing is coming from this room right here. Yeah. Anything for me to pick up in here? No. I'm gonna bypass that. Ooh, and there's a door here. Locked. Good to know. All right. To the ringing. Like a dumbass. Mr. X is going to give it to me. Elizabeth, are you there? Are you safe? I'm here. There was someone else in the attic outside the door, but uh, I think they've gone now. I've managed to find one of the... Uh, do you know... Elizabeth, there's another man here. Do you know him? I don't. But you must look to yourself first, Thomas. If you should be caught too... They seem to be drawn to sound. You must remain quiet. Now she tells me. They attacked him. They dragged him away. They attacked him. They dragged him away. Dear God, that's horrific. I dread to think of you being snatched like that too. Our one hope of helping him, helping all of them, is finding the cylinders. 
the ones who took that man. They can't see, it seems. But why? What do you think is wrong with them? I, I knew noise attracted them, but what happened to their faces? I've managed to find one of the cylinders. Well done, Please don't love. be right behind me. There's hope yet for us all. The others should be here in the hotel or, or in the grounds. Please, take the utmost care. And if I don't answer, it means I've had to hide. That they've come back. <laughs> Finding the cylinders is our best hope. I can still hear them. Shuffling around. I'll keep talking as long as I can. I must go. Take care. Okay. All right. So Phone is here, save point here. I uh, cleared these rooms to go this way. But <sighs> the thing is, I know that the Mr. X fucker went this way, which means he's got to be this way. And my bet. Uh, is that there's loot or something way or a morgue second thought what he does in his business in his own time is none of my business all right they don't see, they can only respond to sound, so... Don't make sound and don't touch them. Now, this is supposed to be a closed room with no other way out, but what do you know? Mr. X burst a hole in the wall. I'll go in far enough to, to mark it. Aha. Uh -huh. Well. Okay, so then in that case, I'm just going to backtrack a bit. Because that seems like the critical path, and I want to explore the other way. So this will dead end eventually, which is good to know. Okay. And back we go. Should I save? Nah, saving put takes me out of it takes me a long way out of my way. If I had the harp door open, I would absolutely go save. But uh your hands on one of those rusty nails my man oh that's gonna fall on him but ah uh, jagged nails and shit that would suck oh god another one
thing oh it's right here that's great great wonderful uh-huh where am i going why am i here and where am i going Oh, to a vent. Okay. So I was gonna say, this was blocked off last time. There's a bell, that's where it went. Where is it? I can hear it's breathing, but I don't know where it fucking went in response to the bell. Good to know that that's why those bells are there, though. Lure them away from certain spots. Okay, um... Looks like if I go straight, it's a dead end, but there might be a collectible down there. Hey, look, the dead end, and not a collectible. Poor shame. Wait, if I stand up, can I stand up? No? Okay. Uh, yep. And then right. And blocked again. Hear them breathing. Excuse me. Okay. Next room. All right, let's go. My oh, man, make as little noise as you can and they will fucking leave you alone. going to be an annoying thing. Music Sheet by Henry Hughes. A Welsh lullaby. I think this that the song that the music the music dolls are uh playing is what is variations of what this is which makes sense because I think that was also the same song that the music locket was playing and Theory. Elizabeth has been luring musicians here to uh, claiming love and all of that to help the, to help to help have them break the curse, and uh, they've been being I don't know, but Elizabeth I feel like is not on the up and up. I doubt Elizabeth and her ch her honesty and sincerity. I'll take that. I am at full, right? More or less. Okay, 
and this drops me out here. Okay. So I'm not that far behind Mr. X and Mr. Dead Man. Hmm. Okay, not a good, not a loud kathunk. That's good. That's good. Appreciated. Appreciated. Um, so we have a couple of locked doors that we'll probably come back for in time. But we seem to be done with the basement for now. Seem to be. And this is going from the east to the west, so we're going to be... Uh... Over here, probably somewhere in the in the rest west west wing. Hey, look. The more hurt you are, the more noise you make. Makes sense. And also, the more noise you make, the more you sprint. Also makes sense. Ouch. Oh, we're not at the west wing. We're outside. Okay. Fair. Okay. That was just somebody testing a violin. Tuning a violin, maybe. <sighs> Excuse me. Sorry for yawning. Hello, Mr. X. There's definitely something in those woods. I think, I think. Or at least it's similar enough that there's supposed to be a connection there. Hi, buddy. You're going that way. <sighs> Curse my curiosity. And my need to explore every <laughs> angle. I hear puppy. Pupper? Good dog? Good doggo? Please? Please be a good doggo. Oh look. Fire. Where am I? Oh, I'm near the, the St. Benedictine Church or whatever the fuck it is. That's where I'm at. And I don't have it. is like the worst person to have around when somebody's smoking like he will be giving the pupper 
be giving like the most obnoxious <laughs> kind of coughing in response to somebody smoking. Speaking of coughing, hold on. I can feel it. I can feel it in the back of my throat. Oh, God. Okay. There we go. God, I wish I knew where I was and where I was going. And what was out of bounds and what wasn't. Prudence. Eighteen ninety four. gonna be right there, man. Just hold your breath, my guy. That was great. You're making a lot of noise, my man. Ooh. Yeah, they definitely he thinned up his hands quite a bit. Jebediah's cult letter. Dear brothers and sisters, this par council of the quiet ones invites you to revere in the power from the song of our source. Together we will attain true control. Be assured to bring your offering of flesh and bone, to sacrifice the weakness within, to join us in the ritual of rebirth. Remember your garments of the quiet ones to shield from the weak leeches of the sacrifice. Our beloved, sci our beloved science disciple Prudence has volunteered for the position of priestess. This is a high honor for us all. Her position will be anointed to our at our next gathering of the brothers and sisters Jebediah William Prudence was part of a cult of s silence Is it a music hating cult is that what it is They do music in order to lure people in order to uh, lure, to lure mu musicians and then kill those musicians. Is that what it is? Is that what's happening here? That's all well and good you saying that, but I don't see why I shall need your assistance. I like it less than you. I have other jobs need attending, but your father insisted. Make sure she practices. She must be ready. His very words. 
Be ready for what? This here uh, contraption is spinning. So go on with you. Start your singing. You said be ready for what? Well, um... Well, how should I fucking know my brother's mind? Fucking hell, lass. Are you bloody well gonna sing or what? Oh, fine, then. <clears throat> Okay, so I had a question that let me check uh, something in my notes, probably. Yes, this letter she sent was 1897. So her mom died like three or four years ago because it was 1894 or something like that on her tombstone. So this was four years ago that her mother died. Supposedly died, I guess I should say. Hmm. Can I take the... No? Okay. Oh, this is going to be a hiding... Oh! I bet it's going to be a return spot later. Songbird. Huh. Huh. What is it with Elizabeths and songbirds in cages? Bioshock Infinite. <laughs> Get it together, man. The HMS Providence. Isaac's account of HMS Providence. 3rd of Febu February, 1874. So 20 years before Prudence died. The storm of the century battered the island last night. The men, they say to have spot... Uh, uh, the men, they say they have... Uh, do they say, oh my god. They say to have spotted a vessel off the coast, and my father has ordered us to extinguish the flames of the beacon. Word from the men informs me that a ship ran aground on the stone coast, east of Scare Point. Myself in awe at the size of this vessel engraved on a plaque. On the port side of the ship read its name, HMS Providence. Seven days later, my men, under order by my father, transferred the remains of the ship into the cavern beneath Scare Point. We salvaged what we could from the ship. Anything of value, most importantly, the contents of the cargo hold. Next day... Wait. Okay. The next day, something was discovered inside the wreck, buried in the coal, in cargo hold. Something I've never seen before. It's alive and in such a tragic state. My father thinks it's fortunate that it is weak, for it tries to sing. Unloading the cargo, some of the men have began to act strange in the presence of this creature. Its singing seems to have an effect on them. Even in its weakened condition. I find this fascinating and need to take notes. Father is becoming concerned. The more I learn about this mindless creature, it seems that the song it sings lures its prey. Siren. It's, they're talking about a siren. Uh, lures its prey so it can devour and survive. My father is beginning to see the potential of this beast and what we can accomplish with its power if we can somehow harness it. And that sounds like what's happening to good old main tag um, pr main, main antagonist protagonist here. Um, he's being lured in by song and mystery. On 15th of February, my father has begun to use this creature upon Scare Point, chained to the beacon to aid in luring vessels here. 
with this we can increase our potential earnings from the wreck i may have an idea of harnessing this power further with the help of my beloved prudence i will take some time to present this to father and get his blessing great lovely love that I'm not going to interact with that yet. Can I? You can get. Come on, man. You can get fit. You can fit through there. All right. Fine. Wait, is it a thing that I can crouch under? Probably not. No. Nope. Okay. Oh shit, there's a person there. Stared right at him and didn't even see him. Two. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Okay, this is going to be an avoiding people and trying to get around the room thing. No map, no map. Okay. Just walk this way. Dead end. Great. Okay. Fuck. Am I in a coughing area? <coughs> yes, I am. Great. This is great. I think I just killed myself. This is fine. Oh, we're lucky. Oh, we're lucky. There's a door over here. Yes, quite. Oh. You can leave me alone, man. There we go.
Okay, not enough. Alright. I don't think so to answer your question Rose by the way hi I don't think so uh also uh be careful not to get too far ahead because the next session is going to pick up right where we left off next game session is going to pick up right where we left off but I don't know I don't know if Nat knows anything like that. You'll have to ask them. has been made hell yeah Yeah, I'm inside of a church. Great. Great. That's, this is fine. Jebediah's old ritual notes. The blessing. Douse the follower in... Douse the follower to cleanse impu impurities. The prayer. Expose them to its thrall. The, its thrall. So probably the siren song. Exorcism. Shield their senses from the song. The rebirth, arise new devotee to the silence. Something, 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 silence must fall when the question is asked, blah, 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 blah. <coughs> oh, hi, sorry, sir. Mazeltov. Oh, it's two doors, two things. That makes sense. Oh, I bet they have to work at the same time. There we go. Oh, that's some Resident Evil shit, man. It's cool. Now. If this game was true to its own lore, that would have attracted any of them for fucking miles. Oh, this way. Dead end? Aha! Treats. Aha.
Good boy, you dog, doggy, doggy, dog popper. I will pet this pupper if it will let if this game let or if it's the last thing I do in this game. Assuming the game lets you pet the dog, something could be something, probably not. Blah 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 blah. Okay, retreat to the hotel, yes, please. Is it all bees? I... I need to tell someone. Get all of this out. Get this down somewhere. My father does not know that I'm making this recording. But I need to confide in... Well, in you, Mother. He has been pushing me pushing me more and more in my lessons to sing as you once did. But there is something else. There's a mania to his actions of late. He seems consumed with his latest scheme to revive the hotel. But it is more than that, too. Both he and Abraham have been so agitated of late, and they argue more than before. I overheard them in heated discourse over a guest who had disappeared. I assume without paying. My father was furious that there was nothing that could be salvaged from it. And mother, you have never heard such language. I, I know our finances are dwindling and his heart is set on restoring the glory days of Scare Hotel, but he sets so much on my shoulders. I'm not sure if I can do it, mother. I'm not sure if I can be you. Well, unfortunately, I don't, from the little bit we're uh, we've heard of your mother so far, uh, I don't think she'd have actually been on your side in this. Unfortunately. Huh? Talking to the game. The character's mother, the person who was talking through the phonograph, her uh, her mother would not have been on her side in this. We're not in a voice call right now, Rose. It's not like it's just you and me chilling. <laughs> I am playing a game on stream here. <laughs> Hello. Love this for me. We're going to hide by a penis.
No. <laughs> I'm sorry, I decide that. So, as the GM, I decide how the next session starts. No. No, the, the thing is, the writings were meant to be in between episode and like main story beats when you guys have downtime and to flesh in the past prior to this game session, not to fill in like little few minutes here, a few minutes there. So if you're going to try to put to continue the scene of where we had to leave things last time, then I'm going to need you to not. Because that would be pushing forward the main storyline. Hey, Matt, good to see you. Merry Spookmas. Oh. It's a big story beat so far. If you want to fill in some gaps about things that New Ev would know about Elle's character and personality and stuff going forward, uh, going forward so that it's established in canon, you are welcome to. But if you're going to try to push forward things that would be much more fun actually played out in game than at the exact moment where we're currently at then there's going to be a problem okay so we were just through this area we saved there what time is it 9 15 okay because once again, I remind you that these were the agreement for the side writing in addition to campaign stuff was to fill in the peripheral, not stuff that is more fun to do in game in the current. I disagree. This was not, those things were not meant to progress the current. Thomas. Yes. Yes, I'm fine. <sighs> also, this is not a conversation I want to ha be having live on stream right now. So message me on Discord and we'll talk about it later. I feared the worst had happened. We're gone so long. I dreaded that you'd been taken too. My God, dear Lord, have mercy. What are they trying to do? That poor wretched soul. You must be on your guard, Thomas. You can't let them catch you. Keep seeing a dog. Oh, that must be Calliope, my late mother's dog. I'd so hoped she was safe. I had good reason to suspect that my uncle had disposed of her. Yeah, we heard that oh, phonograph. It's so good to hear your voice again. Just to hear your voice again. 
The silence was unbearable. Alright, so we ha we are near another cylinder. Uh, that way it's progressing onwards. Let's go get the cylinder. Hi, pupper. Up to scare point we go. For the reference, the conversation I was having with my friend Rose is uh, she's a part of a uh, weekly TTRPG game. Not weekly, every other weekly, bi-weekly uh, TTRPG game that I am GMing. Uh, I, have, I allow my uh, players to fill in before, like, certain side aspects uh, that they're so that their characters and players would have more knowledge about each other and stuff um, for the actual gameplay of the campaign by doing like cooperative writing stuff and uh, my Rose is wanting to uh, progress where we're currently at through writing instead of letting it play out in game and thus my no no play it out in game but that's the conversation that uh she and i will continue to have at another time oops there we go wait what's this way Oh, that's lovely. Jesus! What is that, a cow? A horse? No, that's a deer. Okay. Oh, a deer. A female deer. Alright, let's just... Puppy? I am I am super pumped about tomorrow. And that, and what Matt is talking about, Melador219 in chat is talking about, about tomorrow, is tomorrow he and I will be playing uh, something multiplayer. Uh, probably Phasmophobia, um, but maybe other things as well. Uh, tomorrow together with uh, at least one other person um, right here and on his stream and so on. Uh, so that's tomorrow. Now let's go figure out what happened to this poor pupper to have it wimping. Whimpering. That is a massive deer. I guess I can run up to go see what's up with the dog here. Doggo. Doggo! Oh, you got in a bear trap! You poor thing. It's okay. Don't bite me. Don't, no. You're fine. Covered in mud and blood, but we're fine. Joko boy! Or girl, girl, cuz Calliope. Poor paw. I can give you a healing item. If it lets me. Oh, Jesus! Well, I just got an achievement for Animal Lover. Let's go! Um. Alright. Gotta just walk past, I guess. Nah. Not in this house. Matt, looking at this imagery right here with the creepy sound and the music and everything. This is fine. I'm sure nothing cursed is about to happen, right? Absolutely. Now, let's figure out... Oh, I have to do some bells. Come on. 
Do I have to do them in a specific order? Or is it just one at a time? Puzzle. North, west, east. Let's see here. Okay, pointing east. Thing I can't get yet. Hmm. Bird sirens. Musician. Lots of musicians. Anything emphasized here? No. Uh, no. There we go. So I just had to ring the thing where the gate, where the arrow was pointing. A roll of Trojan condoms. Got it. All right, we are here. We're coming back here. Uh, or no, 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 we're up here. We're coming down here. That's what it is. Poor pupper. I hope it's doing okay with its hurt little paw. This is fine. Great, you turn around when I didn't expect you to. Fine.
Okay. This is fine. It's all fine now. Elizabeth? Nothing? Fine. Okay. Onwards we go. How's my health, by the way? Still pretty full. Where am I going? Right, okay. Okay, uh... Right. The laboratory! The violet gas is more potent. It stifles the senses and clogs the lungs. Could it help with the ritual? So that's what that violet gas looking fucking thing was. Isaac's plans... There has to be an answer, a means to use the song as I will it. Was my drunkard zealot of a father right? Is worshipping that thing the only means of controlling its power? I shall make it sing for me. It only lives because I allow it, because my brother and I provide for it. Is Elizabeth the siren? I feel like Elizabeth the siren. Phonic modulator cartridge. I mean, I wouldn't just slam that in there, but thank you. Yeah, so basic. Okay, so basically, to catch you up on the story, Matt, um, we are a character who received a letter from their love named Elizabeth. Um, she said that her father has trapped her in the hotel that he's obsessed with reopening after he found out about their love and their plans. Um, she told him not to come, though, she, because she knew that would be his first instinct, which it was, because we were on the train as we were reading the letter. Um, she asked, she sent him a locket, a musical locket, and asked us to write the inverse of the song in the locket. Um, and that she'd explain once we got here, uh, uh, once we were done with that. Um, and so we got here, we brought the locket, we brought the sheet music we wrote. Uh, her, 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 um, it turns out her father is part of a cult. Um, it was a cult that was worshipping a siren that w had been... Uh, captured by a ship at sea, but then washed ashore. They ca they captured the cult captured the siren and have been using her music for ill. And the dad Isaac wants to um, do some bullshit, basically. Yes, a cult that worships a siren. And, um... I've been getting vi- uh, I've been getting off vibes about, uh, Elizabeth. Ever since we first started. Uh, <laughs> fair. That's fair. Um... 
I've been getting off vibes about Elizabeth since we started. Um, I she's either luring a bunch of musicians there all with the same story because we found uh we found another man who was essentially murdered in front of us who also had a thing that he called a welsh lullaby here is here's ours a welsh lullaby and that's us thomas evans um so Two song, uh, two different songs, same name, that same name of song, two different people. Uh, you know that th there's there's things that aren't quite adding up. I think she's a part of it, though it's not quite as it seems. Um, yeah, it, it, yeah. Also, the family seems to have been uh, incredibly abusive to her. Her mother died, and ever since then, it's been on her to sing the best she could like her mother used to and it, it's a yeah <laughs> i do feel bad for her um i'm just not she doesn't i don't think she's what she seems to be i think she was catfishing us to some degree i don't think it was necessarily to trap us or get us murdered I think she was genuinely trying to stop Isaac and them, but, uh, I also think that we're not the first person she lured into this trap. And the reason I think that is because one of the notes I found uh these are this is a description these are descriptions of their ledgers of death and deaths and disappearances um and included on them is after a bit is just a bunch of musicians that were showing up and uh a, um i uh, and it, to the point where it was noticed where another musician asking too many questions very evasive why you know Okay, where are we going? Generally to the right. Okay. Or that way. So, first and foremost, we're going to the right. Yeah, totally not cursed. Totally not cursed. This is fine. Aha. Oh, geez. Lag. Oh, look, that's purple mist. Okay, cool. They can't see. They can't seem to feel, but they definitely do here <sighs> fuck but not that one hello penis So if I'm right, I have to push button and then go get the fuse and then go push the button again. All right, there's three of them here. This is fine. Oh, there's a music doll in the center. Of course there is. 
Oh, there's four. There it is. Good to know that that's not just an unlimited KO. Not that I actually thought it was. But... Good to know. Statue of Perseus, I think. Just gonna oh. Okay, fine. Just sprint for the door. This is fine. Okay. Oh, Matt, you want to know something really exciting? Mr. X is in this too. <sighs> yeah, he's not actually Mr. X, but he's massive, tall, wears a hat like Mr. X does. Wears a trench coat like Mr. X does, has a messed up face like Mr. X does, and can burst through walls like Mr. X does. And I keep waiting for him to stalk me through the halls of this hotel. Hasn't happened yet, but I keep waiting for it. Okay, so where am I? I'm up here. Okay. I'm up here. I just came in from there. I need to get... Oh, that's the lobby area. Okay. Okay, okay. So we're going to be going into the West Wing now. Oh, shoot. You can actually hear them, like, pounding on that door behind me. Cool. Oh, yes. I will take that, please. Jesus Christ, that scar that actually scared me. Jesus Christ, okay. Hi fella. Would you like to go back outside now that the show's ended? Yeah. Yeah. I will also say the ambience in this noise in the, this ambient the ambience of the general aesthetic of this game has had me on edge from basically the start. Which should tell you something. If you if you know me and you know and you've been with my spook streams before, you should you should mm. Where are you going? Oh no.
Okay, he's going that way. So I'm just gonna... Ah! The Cthulhu key! Grand. Well, since I have that now, we're just gonna... And leave you to it. Enjoy the show! The theater! That was the theater! That makes sense. I hear Elizabeth. Or at least a phone. I love that the phone has become synonymous with an Elizabeth in my head. Alright, locked door on the left. That takes me to the hall- uh, to the grand hall. Um, that's probably where the ringing is. It's probably where it wants me to go. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, there is absolutely somebody inside this place. Hey, look. I was correct. Oh, God. Mm hmm mm hmm Yeah, I'm just going to pop in here, and then, uh... Let's see here. What happens if I do this? Managed to find a cylinder. Oh, Thomas, that's welcome news. This will surely free us all. Maybe a little quieter, Elizabeth. Murder guys in the next room. You know where the others might be. I'm sorry, my love, but I do not. My father and uncle, my family, had many secrets, and so much is only now becoming clear. The other cylinders must be in the hotel. Perhaps on the first or the second floors. Look for a way to reach me. Some means to come here to the attic. We're just gonna... I'll be back with you in a second, Elizabeth. Right, yeah, like, I don't, I think maybe she's trying to lure people in to stop her family. I think there, that there may be, tr she might be trying to lure people in to start, to stop her family, but then in turn getting them killed. That's what I'm thinking. I don't think that you are actually, quote, her love, you know? And I also, I'm unclear how much she knows and how much she doesn't know. Because there is a version of reality where she knows everything and is just lying. I am so relieved. And it's just lying. Um, there's another version of reality where she, uh, like, she's the siren. She knows the everything and she's just manipulating you to free herself. Uh, correctly. Um, but, uh, I, <sighs> there's also a version of this where, for some reason, she doesn't remember that she's the siren or something You're like safe. that. I dare not leave the attic. Okay, well, they're still st staring at that. Um, let's see, it's 9.48. Okay. So I now have the Cthulhu key, and yes, I'm going to continue to call it the Cthulhu key. Um, oh, I know what I can do. Hold on. So I want to get them out of there. Maybe. That's possible. So 
I'm going to save. Now that I've got a second. There's her father, Isaac Williams. This game borrows a lot from, like, classic Resident Evil stuff. In case you couldn't tell. All right, fellas. Ring a ding. Oh no, they're fully enraptured. Okay, well. I'm just gonna go this way. Don't mind me. I don't just mean like Resident Evil 7 or 8, which is the most obvious aspect of this that it, you know, that it borrows. Um, with the first person and everything. Um, but I mean, like, the safe rooms that are very safe and are where you save and have soothing music and stuff. There's almost certainly something to interact with in that. Don't breathe. What was that for? Hold your breath more than 50 times. Valid. We came from there. We've not gone in there. Oh, Elizabeth. Okay. Get to know that there's a phone there. This will take me down here. So this is, if I remember the big map correctly, this might be the kitchen. Because the bar is like right here and bar storage is right around here. So this door should take me to bar storage, to the, to the bar. And that one should take me to, I don't remember. Yes, this is the bar. Okay. A map. Yes. Okay, good. All right. Oh, and we've got another one of these thingies here. Good to know. Okay. Um, so yes, bar, bar storage, kitchen, storage room. Okay, that's what it was. Dining room, music room, office, projection room. Okay. Oops, wrong button. Any beer on tap, please? Oh, I'm gonna... <laughs> oh, no. Okay. And there's one for each of those. Oh, my God. Okay. Order up. <laughs> I need to stop ta ta uh, taunting them. Morning Herald newspaper. Highly regarded composer Henry Hughes. Henry Hughes. That was HH. That was the guy we got that we saw get murdered. Um, to unveil latest masterpiece at Royal Albert Hall. Young, Re young Welsh musician to perform at local theaters around the country. Hey! Look! It's Thomas Evis Evans! We have a face! Because that's us. Thomas Evans, right there. The young Welsh composer Thomas Evans announces his uh, announces this week that he will be performing his orchestral... I can just do this. Um... His orchestral arrangements of the traditional songs of Wales around the country. Uh, highly regarded composer Henry Hughes to unveil the latest masterpiece at Royal Albert Hall. The esteemed composer Henry Hughes has been busy, <coughs> excuse me, composing his latest symphony and plans to unveil his work at the Royal Albert Hall this December. Mr. Hughes reported to be one of. Uh, reported to be one of the most successful musicians in the country, said, I am very proud and delighted to be performing my latest piece for the public once again. Uh, 
Okay. We'll leave that open. <coughs> Thomas. Thomas. Why does she have a recording of uh, of herself just saying my name over and over and over in different ways? Because that's not sus. Okay, so I was right that these two vents are going to connect are connected, but they're not. accessible from either of these which means that there's a third location it's probably this one okay all right so i'm currently alone in here so and i just saved so let's go do something probably stupid and search for anything to interact with in here Yeah, okay. Locked. Of course. Okay. Oh, that was the beer tap, probably. Okay. What am I looking for? My brain, apparently. Um. She said she wanted me to get to her. Let's close that. Oh, they're still stuck. Cool. Well, I'm just gonna walk this way. Don't mind me. Because, see, there's that other vent I was talking about. And it doesn't have a hook on it either for us to release. So, it means I have to release it from the other side. So, that means not yet. We're going to go through this. Okay. So we have three doors here that we can pick from. Because we have the Cthulhu key. Allons-y. And the toilet. Just checking that all still is up to code in here. Yeah, that was all. Hey, your bathroom's haunted, y'all. You might want to take care of that. Great. This is the area we tried to get into where What's-His-Face started getting beat to death. HH, the Hughes or whatever his name was. 
unlock the door. Close the door. So that's the chapel. That's the place we just were. Scare point. West wing bedroom, second floor. I just realized that they have the titles up here. The locations. And in the Medusa be uh, basement. Okay, fair. Can I turn this off? This is loud. No? Fine. I guess they want you to be able to check it on the reg, so... Tap. Hey, look at that. Isaac's audiovisual notes. 4th of October, 19, or 1897. The latest test with the cylinders shows significant signs of progress. Subject 4 shows greatly increased suggestibility and compliance after repeated sessions in the chair. Combination of both audio stimulus and visual suggestions proves to be working, but how to replicate the same results on a larger scale to mass audiences, but on whom? The staff? Someone's knocking on some doors. Leave that haunted toilet alone. And then just moonwalk through this door. Okay, it's 10 o'clock. I need to get to the, to a save room. What I'll probably do is instead of putting the tap on, the beer tap on the thing tonight, we'll probably go straight to here and save and then call it there. All right, they seem to still be just to be sure. Okay, that looks all fine and good in the dining room. Anything different in here now that I've got the thing? Doesn't look it. That's okay. This is fine. Into here we go. Cool, 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 cool. Saving. <sighs> oh boy, y'all! Oh boy, y'all! Jeez! Okay, so I am really enjoying this. This is great. Um, the intense, horrifying ambiance. Uh, so, you know how it's like in Phasmo, they have that oppressed, that const once you're in the haunted areas. It's like that once you're inside the houses uh, that you're trying to uh, find the ghost in in Phasmo, that just a constant oppressive uh, ambiance that is all throughout this. 
and it's glorious. It's very well done. You hear footsteps creaking, uh, doors opening and shutting, knocking on walls and doors and whatnot. And it gets worse the more you, the for further you go in. And I love it. It doesn't really rely on jump scares so so much. Uh, it has jump scared you. It does jump scare you a few times because every horror game does jump scares. But but oh oh, it's just so good. <laughs> Sorry, I just realized that there was a stats thing. Uh, let's look at my stats real quick. I have 8 out of 20 music dolls, 10 out of 30 notes, I found 8 out of 15 of the phonographs, which are the save locations, I have saved the game 24 times, and part of that is, is me, was me at the start going, it says to interact with the phonograph, what does that do? Uh, but nothing's happening, I'm pushing E and nothing's happening, it's saving the game. Um, I have gotten hit five times. I've healed thrice. I've used the device twice, but I have not died yet. So that's all well and good. I'm excited to continue this on Wednesday. Yes, that is correct. We will be continuing this game on Wednesday. And until then, come back tomorrow for more Phasmophobia. Oh, I'm excited. Melador 219 will be in the chat will be not just in the chat, but he will be in the game with us if I can find my OBS. There we go. Uh but yeah. Shout out to Melador219, who I will be playing Phasmo with uh tomorrow. Uh or something. Phasmo forewarned, Dead by Daylight. I don't really remember what we said. Um We'll be doing something tomorrow together, and then uh be there and be scared. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, we're, uh, where we'll be starting off the month of October correctly. The correct way. Um, with friends and Phasmo. Um, I'll probably try to... Oh, God. I kind of want... I wish... I wish I had some proper... Proper spiced cider. Sp like proper spiced apple cider because I would absolutely have a big old mug of that while playing Phasmo tomorrow or whatever we end up playing oh that sounds like so much fun uh just having like like like, like nice big warm mug of spiced cider or uh even hot chocolate would do oh you remember some of my spiced cider good 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 yeah it it is really good stuff um but uh i also make a good um mul uh good mold wine uh a well guess technically mold grape juice because i don't actually use wine in it um but it's it, i i make a good one of those it's really good too um but uh yeah, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll make some molds, uh, mold, mold grape juice or something. And yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I have time to get the stuff for it tomorrow. Maybe later in the month. But anyway. Uh, anyway, anyway, anyway. Come back tomorrow and see what we're we'll see what we're all doing together tomorrow. It'll be fun at the very least. Um, but before you all head out for the night, be sure to check out my link tree. Um, just a quick stop by and you'll find links to my socials, my Discord, my YouTube, my Twitch, also a bunch of recommendations, uh, which includes Melador219 and Yvonne B, who was in the chat earlier. Um, also, you'll find links to my Kofi and my Patreon as well, places where you can support. Basically, it's a link, my link tree, my link tree holds the places where you can follow me join my community support me or watch my shit <laughs> that's basically what you find in there um and find my friends in there as well um and or other people that i just generally support um but uh yeah 
Uh, so check that out. Link tree slash Crimson Knight, exactly as it's uh, like it is abo uh, above my head. Um, and uh, yeah, but or not. I mean, if you don't want to, that's fine. I won't hold it against you. But um, either way, that's it for the night. And as I said, we'll be back tomorrow at the same bat time, same bat channel. Um, and so until then, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourselves and love everyone around you. And I will see you all tomorrow, next time, whatever. <laughs> I'll see you all next time. I love you all. Peace out.